Hi, I'm Doug, and I'd like to introduce you to my friend, the Alfa Romeo 4C. Now, there are a million videos online about tracking the 4C, and turning the 4C, and braking with the 4C, and handling the 4C, so I thought I'd give you something a little different. Can you daily drive the 4C? My friend Cyrus at Broadway Supercars, an exotic rental car firm, gave me this one to try out, so let's find out. The Alfa Romeo 4C is not exactly designed for comfort. For proof, seat backs. They go forward, but not back. There's not much seat padding. It's like a rope. Glove box, there is none. Cup holders. Maybe if you're drinking out of a thimble. Sun visors. You'd be better off shielding your face with a television remote. Rear view mirror? Not really. Cabin storage is minimal. There's no storage pocket on the doors, and there's no storage in the center console. Admittedly, there is this little storage pocket next to the seat that's big enough for an iPhone 6, but not big enough for an iPhone 6 Plus. There's also this box, which is the largest storage area inside the cabin, and where you'll put most of your in-cabin storage belongings. License and registration? Check the box. Phone charger? Check the box. Sweatshirt? Check the box. Random stick? Check the box. Basically, if you're driving a 4C, you better not want to carry anything outrageous with you. Like a magazine. I'm just kidding. Open up the back and you'll find an engine. But if you squint, you'll also find a trunk. It has 3.7 cubic feet of cargo space. By comparison, the Cayman has 15 cubic feet. That boat. And then there's visibility, which is an important quality for a daily driver. The Alpha is great from the front, pretty good from the sides, and in back, that blind spot could hide a regional airport. This is kind of a problem when it's time to parallel park, as I shall now demonstrate. Oh my god, where am I? Am I gonna hit this thing? Uh. Done. No prob. And then there are the quirks. For example, there's no exterior trunk release. So you walk up to the car with your bag and you try to put it in the trunk, except you can't put it in the trunk. You have to unlock the doors, open the door, go for the interior trunk release, release the trunk, close the door, walk around back, and then you can get into the trunk. But oh no, you've forgotten your sunglasses in the trunk. So you go to open it again, except you can't. You have to go back to the front of the car, re-unlock the doors, re-unlatch the trunk, re-walk around to the back, and re-open it to get out your sunglasses. And there's no gas cap. Instead, you open the fuel door to reveal this little rubber. And then there's music. The Alpha comes standard with this aftermarket CD player with no USB or auxiliary port. But never fear, they do exist. They dangle from a wire on the passenger side that's connected with Alfa Romeo tape. And then there's the hood. Despite a panel gap that goes across the entire front end of the car, it doesn't actually open. I'm serious. And then there's the gear selector. You know PRND? Well, this car has a, M, R, N, and 1. I, I, I don't even... Well, for one thing, it's a little cramped. This is me, this is my friend Matt, and these are our knees. But if you can fit, the road is where the 4C shines. It's quick, it darts around, it's eager to accelerate and turn and steer. 
It's fun to drive and fun to listen to. And the transmission, while not a desired manual, is surprisingly good for a car like this. Of course, I'm talking about the open road. Get down to lower speeds and... Oh my god, the steering! Oh, why is it so heavy? Oh, I swear it'd be easier to get out and physically turn each wheel. So here's the thing. The 4C has a lot of quirks that make it unsuitable for daily driving. But isn't that kind of the point? Depending on the one you get, this is a sixty dollars to $90,000 toy, and you're not supposed to use your toys for practical purposes. Do you bring your Etch-A-Sketch to McDonald's and use it to order at the drive-thru? No way! So if you have the money to get a 4C, buy something else to drive every day, and use this on fun back roads where you can really enjoy it to its potential, as all those other YouTube videos demonstrate. I'm just kidding. Open up the trunk and you'll find... <laughs> Damn it! Uh.